there's a story once. My mentor told me there's probably about three people alive that still know the story. That um, Eddie Futch didn't really want to train Riddick Bowe because he had dog in him. I had a lot of dog in him. So he was going to England and he had to work with a fighter with us, a Rock Newman, which was his manager, was also a, a good friend of my mentor, Mr. West. He said, he said, Wes, I talked to um, I talked to Eddie and Eddie, and he got to go to England. And I talked to him, I asked him if I could bring you up to work to fight for Riddick. And he said, yeah, absolutely. He said, uh, will you come? He's like, sure, no problem. So then he called, he called West back like two days later. The fight got canceled. Eddie, Eddie doesn't, doesn't have to go to England. He said, you can still come with one. He's like, no, it's okay. It's fine. You got it covered. But he didn't tell. He told Riddick Bowe before he left. He said, listen, I want you to go running three miles every day. He said, okay. And it was cold. It was in the mountains in Pennsylvania. It was cold. And they had like, you know, you could see a breath. That's how cold it was. So he hid in the woods. He hid in like behind the, the trees and shit. And he seen, sure enough, when he told him to come out, whether it was five, six, I forget what time it was, but early in the morning. When he told him to come out, he got up, had his coat on, and he went running. He, he watched him do that for three days. Then he told him, okay. Then he knew he was serious. But he knew nobody around to see if he was going to do it or not. And that's why he trained him. That's a story. There's maybe only three people left in the world that actually know that story. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, thanks for sharing that one then. That would be a interesting one to put up. Okay.